Good morning, welcome to Vlogmas Day 8. To be honest, I don't really feel like Wednesdaying today. <laughs> it's awful outside. Um, I took some of these uh, video shots on the way home, so it's our bin day today. And people put out their bins last night and all the recycling, and yeah, this is the state of our driveway, which is nice. So uh, I've got to go and pick all that up in a minute. Uh, so, we didn't put our bins out. We thought, oh, we'll wait till the morning to do it. So it is uh, advent calendar time. So let's have a little delve. I'm keen to get into these back ones, I mean, these bigger ones. But they're more the 20th, 14th, 12th. Oh, that's one's coming up soon. 10th, nice. Right, what am I looking for? Day eight. Day eight. Day eight, lovely. Right, let's pop that down there. Okay, so we have a, I don't know which way up it would be. It's the same both ways, isn't it? Anyway, uh, so a blue stripey bag. And what's in today's stripey bag? Let's have a little look. Oh, that's really cute. Uh, you know how I like a stitch marker. This is a rainbow stitch marker from Unicorn Buffs and Rainbows, so I won't forget where that one came from. That's really cute, I like that. So it's a little rainbow bead charm on the, uh, the stitch marker. Lovely. Oh, I'm liking that. Right, had a bit of a disaster last night. Um, so I was looking at my Father Christmas coat and you increase every other line so it should be going out into a V. Well one side was going out into a V and the other side was going and I thought that's not right. I mean there was only eight rows in but I had to do this which is sad. But I have restarted so I'm now on row 10 after restarting and I actually, they actually match up now so they're going out on a proper slope without the, uh, the little steps it, it sort of went in a bit here I must have missed a stitch somewhere I don't like crocheting with dark colours at the best of time and crocheting this at night is almost not quite as but almost as bad as crocheting in black so I'm making full use of uh, the stitch markers. So I've got one on each end marking the first and last of the row. That one there is holding onto my last stitch so it doesn't unravel. And then I have this one here which is marking the right side. And I'm also using my lovely yarn bowl and I'm pulling from the middle of this uh, this skein. So that is nice. I, I don't often get to use my yarn bowl. I often use my wool genie because it. Um, I don't bother to wind up my skeins into cakes and things. Not very often anyway. Um, so I get to use my yarn bowl which is lovely. Um, what else has happened? Ah oh, yes, so after um, I finished yesterday's video and I was really early uploading it, um, we've got two massive pine trees out in the back garden and the, I think they call it the buttress root on one of the trees had snapped. We're in the middle of a storm. So that's creaking and swaying. So, um, so this is what happened yesterday afternoon. blows. So that was a bit of excitement wasn't it? <laughs> we weren't really expecting, we, we were going to sort of take those trees down to a certain level, maybe take them out at some point because they were way too high, much higher than next door's house and they're right at the back of the garden. Blocking some of their light it just seems a bit unfair. So, um, so we were going to take those out anyway or certainly take them down a bit. So um, it's happened a bit earlier than anticipated and because we live in a conservation area we have to get permission to cut down the second tree 
um, but the first one, because it was dangerous, the tree surgeon was allowed to deem it as dangerous. He took lots of photos and things and was able to take that down. And he's now going through the consent process for us um, so that we can get the second one taken down as well. Because we're going to have storms like this and they're, they're right at the bottom of a south facing garden and we get southwesterly winds and they're just going to go, at some point that one's going to snap as well. Especially now it doesn't have the first one to hide behind. So um, yay, don't like cutting down trees but you know, we will season the logs and use them log burner. So we will be recycling, we'll be putting other things in but maybe not ridiculously tall trees like that one. <laughs> so I'm not quite sure what's going to happen today. I feel like I want to have a bit of a crochet day, a um, bit of an email day. So I started on um, a, a new plan for next year, yesterday, so I showed you my planner. Um, and I have this really great idea in my head and I think I might just want to get more of that out on paper and sort of develop that idea a bit more although my brain's a bit mm, at the moment so uh, yeah we'll see I think I'm just going to be kind to myself today and if I fancy stopping I'll stop and if I do some crochet I'll do some crochet and just take the pressure off today I think so see you later so I still don't feel any perky. I had lunch and I did some crocheting. Um, so I finished off um, the main part of the stockings. I just got some decoration to do at the top. So I'll pop a picture on screen for you to see. So hopefully I can get that done tomorrow. And that will be the stockings done, which is like the biggie on that advent calendar. Um, so this evening I'm hoping to do some more of the Father Christmas's coat. Um, and that's about it really. I've been doing lots of sort of businessy type things today. Um, oh, I didn't actually show you. Um, we decided to bring the TV upstairs. So this was a TV that we had in our bedroom in the last house. And frankly, don't really need a TV in the bedroom because I haven't got time to watch telly in the bedroom. Um, so we thought, well, we could have it up here because we've got the sofa bed. And so I will try and find a more permanent um, uh, or aesthetically pleasing solution to the TV stand. Um, might require another furniture move, who knows. Um, I was hoping to get a new stand next year when we do our uh, redo our lounge. So I might bring the one that's currently downstairs upstairs uh, at some point next year. So that's that. Um, yeah, so I think that's about it for today. So I will see you tomorrow for day nine of Vlogmas. And now have a lovely evening. Take care, stay safe in this storm and happy hooking.